everyone, in this video we will go over how to run code on any Arduino board using the Arduino IDE. So before we get started, let's just quickly run through the materials that we need. All the materials are listed in the description below. Of course you will need an Arduino board. Now in this video I will be using the Arduino Uno, but any board will do. Next, you need the cable for your specific Arduino board that connects the Arduino to a computer in order to be able to upload programs to your Arduino. In this video, we are using the Arduino Uno, so we need a USB-A male to B male cable since there is a USB-B female port on the Arduino Uno. Most Arduino boards have some kind of USB port. It may not be a USB-B port. For example, some boards have a USB mini B female port and some boards have a USB micro B female port. Just make sure that you have the right cable for connecting your Arduino to your computer. And lastly, you need a computer, whether it's a laptop or desktop, Windows or Mac, the type of machine and operating system it runs on does not matter. Once you have gathered all of those materials, turn your computer on, but don't connect your Arduino to your computer just yet. Once your computer is turned on, open up the web browser of your choice and go to arduino.cc slash en slash software. Link is in the description below. And that will take you to the downloads page for the latest version of the Arduino IDE. Now to the right of where it says Arduino IDE, you will see a list of download options for the Arduino IDE for various operating systems. Go ahead and select the download option for your operating system. I am on Windows 10 currently, so I'm going to click on the option labeled Windows, Win 7, and Newer. Then you will be taken to this page. From here, click on the button labeled Just Download, and that will start the download for the Arduino software installer. Once the download is finished, start up the installer. And then you're going to be prompted, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Just select yes. Once you see this Arduino setup window, just click on I agree, and then click on next, and then click on install. And that will start the installation of the necessary software needed for your Arduino to run code. After the Arduino setup has completed, we can finally start programming our Arduino board to do stuff. So to do that, close out of this and let's launch the Arduino IDE by going to the search bar, looking up Arduino and selecting the Arduino app from the search results. Now, before we go any further, let's plug our Arduino into our computer by using a cable that connects to our Arduino on one end and to a USB port on our computer on the other end. And after that, if your Arduino board has an LED indicating power on, then that LED should now be lit. On the Arduino Uno in my case, it lights up green. Once that's done, let's go back to the Arduino IDE, maximize the screen, click on where it says tools up here, and make sure that the type of Arduino board that you are currently using is the one that is selected from this drop down menu. If not, then hover over where it says board and select the correct Arduino board from this list of boards. If you don't see your board from this list, then you may have to use the boards manager to install more software pertaining to your specific board. We'll have a link to an article with more information about that in the description below. Lastly, make sure to hover over where it says port and that you select the correct COM port that your Arduino is plugged into. It should be pretty intuitive because this drop down menu of ports that you can select from should only display active connections with recognizable Arduino boards. If you don't see any COM ports here despite having your Arduino plugged into the computer, then you may have to double check that you have the right software drivers on your computer for your Arduino, whether or not the USB connection is faulty or whether or not your Arduino board itself is faulty. There will be links to articles with more information on all of those topics in the description below, but in the meantime I'm just going to go ahead and select the port that my Arduino is currently connected to. Once all of that is verified, let's go ahead and upload a simple sketch to our Arduino to run. The convenient part of the Arduino IDE is that it comes with a lot of nice sample programs that we can run. To find these example sketches, go and click on File and hover over where it says Examples. For this video, let's go to Basics and select Blink. This will load the code of the sample Blink sketch, so I'm just going to go ahead and maximize this which is a program that turns the Arduino's built-in LED on and off every second. Keep in mind that 
Most Arduino boards do have an onboard LED. If yours doesn't, then this program will not work on your Arduino. Now, assuming that your Arduino does have an onboard LED, we can move on, but very quickly before we do that, if you are very new to Arduino and programming in general, then I would highly recommend reading the text in gray, which does a great job of explaining more about the program as well as what each line of code actually does. To better read, you can pr press the control and plus keys on your keyboard simultaneously a few times to zoom in. After that, let's go ahead and upload the sketch to our Arduino by going up here and clicking on this circle with an arrow pointing to the right. Upon clicking this button, the Arduino IDE will verify the syntax of your program, making sure that it is runnable on your Arduino. And if it is, then the IDE will proceed to upload the program to your board. And once the program has been successfully uploaded to your board, it will say down here, done uploading and the code should execute immediately after the sketch is uploaded so you should start seeing the built-in led on your arduino blink once every second and if that is what you see then you have successfully ran code on your arduino board keep in mind now that this blink sketch is uploaded onto your arduino this is going to be the program that automatically runs upon your arduino turning on whether it's through your computer or an external power supply. Therefore, even when you unplug your board from your computer, this program will still live on your Arduino and will run again the next time it gets powered on until the program gets replaced with another sketch because only one sketch can be uploaded to one board at a time. So what I like to normally do right before I power off or unplug my Arduino is upload a blank sketch onto the Arduino that makes it do pretty much nothing since you may not want to run a program by accident or by mistake. Luckily, a blank sketch is one of the sample sketches provided by the Arduino IDE. So go back to File, Examples, Basics, and select Bare Minimum. And let's maximize this and then click the Upload button. Once this bare minimum sketch is done uploading and you are done using your Arduino, go ahead and unplug your board from your computer and that is pretty much it when it comes to the basics with regards to programming on the Arduino. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative. If so, then please like and subscribe, follow our other social medias link in the description below. Consider helping the channel further through PayPal, Patreon, or GitHub. Links to those are also in the description below and special thanks to our higher tier donors in Logical Cuber, Momo Chang, Jamie Rebowen, Jacob Brand, Stumpy, Dwight Everhart, Mitch Small, Felix Pedersen, Mark Wetch, Jimmy Westcott, Max Norris, Morgan Heidemann, Elise Bioplace Payne, Lucas Moskin, Ricky Morgan, Keith Perry, and Solar Tricks. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.